Hi, hello, how are you? Amanda, Sane Artist, we're doing our eyes. These are the colors I'm gonna talk about today because these are colors I feel like I'm getting a lot of questions on and also Bayou is a color everyone is scared of. I pride myself in showing makeup for everyday wear. I'm not doing crazy things. I wanna show how you can take these deep colors, these bright colors, and you can make them in everyday wear. So I'm gonna use my primer. This is Sengence, their Shadow Sense in the color Candlelight. There is a link for it. It is a good primer if you're looking something to make your makeup last all night, all day, or all day into the night. It's a great primer, so there is a link. I don't sell Sengence, but my girlfriend does, so I use her link. You're, you're supporting my girlfriend when you do this. We're gonna go in, I'm just adding this lash to brow. It's such a good primer. You wanna start spreading immediately because if you let this sit too long, it's really hard to move. And that's what tells you that's a good primer. I really focus this over my discoloration into my crease because I don't want creasing and then I just fade it up. There is a tint to it. There are other lighter shades. It's good stuff. All right, let's get into it. I'm gonna tap into Cupcake as my prep. Powders blend best on top of powders, so I like having a good base, but a nice powdery finish for blending my eyeshadow. We're gonna be using the Blur Brush today. It's part of the sale also. Very good brush. Very good brush, especially for what I'm actually, I'm going to use a multitasker brush with this and I'm gonna to have to clean it. So you're gonna bear with me because I saw somebody use this with this look. So we're gonna be using two colors. My hair is day two, it's definitely going up. I have somebody coming to my house today for makeup. It's gonna be fun. This is caked with lipstick. I've been having fun with Ibiza. I haven't touched it enough and then because of the sale and somebody was telling me that they love it with Hopelessly Devoted and it's been awesome. I am gonna use it again today and then on my cheeks I'm gonna be using is it Tiger Lily? <laughs> I'll let you know when we get that far. Okay, I'm really not gonna use this end. It's mainly for the big end. All right, we're gonna go in. I'm gonna be in the blur brush. It has a dense end like the smudge brush on the small end of the smudge brush, but then it has a fluffy end like the eyeshadow brush. Two of my favorite brushes combined into one. We're gonna go into Leo here, and I'm gonna pop this up top above my crease on my hood on the hood of my eye. I'm very hooded on the outside. And so pulling this straight out and up gives me a little, look how it accentuates. And it, it does, I don't necessarily think it hides the hood, but it definitely helps with my mature eyes because if I just leave it be, I feel like it makes my eyes look more, it makes me look maybe my age. And I, I nobody, nobody that's in their 40s is shooting for that really, right? We wanna get out of the hood. We wanna have a more youthful look and having a bright color like Leo up top like this, it's so pretty. If you have mature lids, just tapping will do the trick. Maybe use the more dense end. Uh, if you have small eyes, the eyeshadow brush is this one. It's very similar. It's just this end. One's big, one's small. Really great brush for smaller eyes and you can achieve the same look. We're just adding this up here and across. And again, all these eyeshadows except for Cupcake are 40% off. So you can customize a palette at an affordable price. We're gonna go in on the big end here. I'm gonna go into Stardust first because it's a little bit lighter. I'm gonna press that, it actually, sugar, I'm gonna wipe it off. This cleaning tile, so great, and part of the sale also. We're gonna go into Stardust with the Multitasker brush because it's more dense, and I'm gonna hold it here, and I am going to tap, look at how it just lays it on. So good. Putting it on the inner lid. I like that this is lighter. Not as deep as Rigoletto. We're gonna pop this on, but instead of using the finger, you get a little more control. This is like having a finger, it feels like. And honestly, I've never used this brush this way before, and it is part of the sale, so this brush is also 40% off. I'm loving showing these 40% off sales because it's getting me out of my comfort zone, and playing with makeup is fun. We're going into Rigoletto next, same brush. You see how much darker that is? And we're gonna put this on the outside outside, leaving the middle empty. And I am gonna pull this out, but I want my lid a bit more packed. Do you see how the inside and the outside is dark, lighter? Sometimes when I swatch, 
People say they can't tell the difference that much, but you can hear. This is a really great brush because it's good for eyes, it's good for lips. You can clean it off on this tile. Again, 40% off. It's one of those things, people have been buying these in jars, these little sponges to clean your brushes. This just fits right in your palette. It's really good. Okay, we're grabbing this on. And all I'm doing is tapping this on like my finger, but I'm just making sure that the middle of my lid is empty because we're gonna be using these. I'm gonna be swatching them on the arms so you can see them. And then I'm gonna use my blur brush to blend my Rigoletto out a little bit more. I just wanna make sure my lid is where I want it. This is such a great brush if you don't like putting makeup on your fingers. Great brush for this. All right, we're gonna go in with the blur brush on the fluffy end. I'm just gonna blend this end out here a little bit. Blending out, going into Rigoletto again. And I'm just gonna push this out and up and into that Leo because when I'm hooded you see how my hood comes down and all that Rigoletto is gone I'm gonna go back into this brush and I'm gonna really let my eye rest so I can get this up onto my soft hood there we go grabbing it again resting that eye bringing this up higher and then I can go in and I can tap this around I really like having this accent on my eye. I feel like it gives me a more youthful look and I like a little bit of depth on my outer lid. Do your eyeshadow the way you want to. I like giving suggestions. I just have a really hard time getting outside of my comfort zone. We're going back into Rigoletto and I'm with this multitasker brush. I'm really liking this brush for this eye look. This is a great wedding look. If you're gonna be a bridesmaid, this could be really pretty. And I'm gonna show you how this can get lightened up in just a bit. I'm just really playing with this Rigoletto. I got a little in my eye. Okay. I'm gonna stop and I'm going to do my face. My face is on Ibiza, hopelessly devoted. I have Fiji as my bronzer. I have Jolene, that was it, not Tiger Lily. Jolene on my cheeks with Wildflower, also 40% off. Let's dig into the finishing of my eyes. Tell me, this is a good standalone, like you could stop here, but here's the question I've been getting a lot about these two colors. What do I prefer, Kiss or Cranberry? I'm gonna swatch them because they're two different colors. Cranberry is very pretty, okay? Very pretty. Kiss. I feel like it's a little harder to pick up, but these are both very, very nice, fine shimmers. They're a low fleck, but they're too like deep versus bright. And then there's Bayou, which is what everyone is scared of. That's a color, so take a look. Cranberry, Kiss, two different colors. I showed Kiss yesterday on a tutorial on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, it was yesterday. <laughs> Such a beautiful color. I'm gonna do, Kiss first, because I think Cranberry can cover it really well. But I wanna show, so we have Rigoletto out here and we have Stardust inside. Two different different outcomes. When you swatch them, they look similar. When you put them on, Stardust is lighter than Rigoletto. I'm gonna take Kiss with my finger and we're gonna just tap this right in the middle. Really pretty bridge, not a huge difference. I need to blend. This is bothering me, sorry. I always hate when I swoop. <laughs> okay, so we have Kiss in the middle. Really pretty, really light. I feel like you gotta really work to get this on your finger here. But you can punch this up, you can use, look at how pretty that is. It just brightens the eye up. It's really fresh, really summery, really pretty. Then we can go into Cranberry, so pretty. And we're gonna layer this right on top. Gives a little bit more of a depth of a look. I'm going to take my fluffy end of my blur brush and we're just gonna blend these together and I have fallout. There we go. Okay, I hate fallout, but look at how pretty that is. Really beautiful color, great for a wedding. This is a great combo for a wedding as a guest or as a bridesmaid. Really, if you're thinking about being a guest and a bridesmaid and you say, I'm not gonna be in the wedding, so I don't need to go crazy, that's not with your makeup, that's with your hair and your dress. Go crazy, have fun with your makeup. Have fun with your makeup. Right. 
I'm gonna go over here with Bayou and I'm gonna do this, we know it's the same thing on either eye, but I wanna show that this isn't as scary as you would think. And we're just gonna put this right in the middle like we did with the other ones. And look at how pretty this is. So pretty, it doesn't look scary. Take a fluffy brush, tap it out, blend it out. Look at how pretty that is. Two different looks. They're both so lovely. They're both so lovely. Now, because I'm not gonna walk around with two different color eyes, I am gonna lay Bayou on top of these because I kind of wanna see the way Cranberry pulls into Bayou. So we're gonna have some fun. So take a look at these, so pretty. Don't turn your nose up at Bayou. It is a lovely color, absolutely beautiful. You could do this with Duke also, which is a frosty blue. But don't it, when you see us suggest and talk about these bolder colors, we're not asking you to turn your whole eyelid one color. It's more of an accent, but when you put it next to these colors, it's just so pretty. I'm gonna lay this by you on top over here. I just wanna see the way these just play together. Ooh, that's pretty. Mm, I'm telling you, if, if it's 40% off, go with it. I'm taking some cranberry to try to even these out. How pretty is that? Is it, is it turquoise? Is it cranberry? Who knows? They're very pretty. Play with these colors. You can mix them up, play with them. It makes such a beautiful spotlight color. That's what I like to call a color when you're putting a pop right in the middle. You could do this with Drift. You could do this with Kiss. You could do this with Cranberry. Drift is not part of the sale, but I've made everybody buy it, so try it. But get Stardust, get Rigoletto. Don't pick between the two, just get both, and then pick Cranberry or Kiss or Bayou or all of them. Don't ask me which one. I'm gonna tell you to buy them all. I'm really good at telling you what you need. That's the eye look. This is so pretty. I'm kind of glad I mixed them all together. I mean, I really didn't have a choice on the matter, but that's it. I've got my makeup on. I love these sale colors. If there's ever a time to branch out and have it be worth it, it's now. Also, go get yourself a blur brush. Such a great brush. Go get yourself a multitasker brush. I lined my lips with this end. I applied my eyeshadow with this end. It's a two for deal. The eyeshadow brush is another great option. If you have smaller eyes, it's the same as the blur brush. It's just got two smaller ends. Have fun with this makeup. There's so many great, incredible options. It's a summer sale and these colors are great for summer, for summer. All right, that's it. I'll be back with another one tomorrow. Have a great day.